and we're back people would you believe that just as I finished mentioning the lifeguards had left uh, the phone rang ending the video I've now switched the phone onto uh, onto airplane mode so that can't happen again talk about bad luck eh? I mean seriously crazy bad luck okay anyway here come the blues guys they're coming through the tunnel so I guess in some ways it's uh, it was good timing number one number two number three number four number five number six a couple here look new to me now in case this ends up being part one guys accidentally there was a part before this this is in fact part two um, I am likely to post this part first for the same reasons as yesterday but a hell of a lot of people flooding through the regimental changeover is complete at the front we've got two enormous horses that thus far we've never seen before that I remember and those names are confirmed uh, I'll show you once again because I did refer to them both in the previous part but this part will likely be up first so this end we've got the enormous magnificent spectacular vise okay v-y-s-e what a beauty eh? an absolutely stunning horse and i'm sure brother or sister to the other one meanwhile we've got these two look i know guys don't get excited the guards haven't started to recruit greys they've already got a few trumpets or horses Wow, wow, wow. Anyway, the real beauty, I mean, the other horse is lovely, but this one, at this end, okay. Again, another new one we've never seen before. This is Tabor, folks. Look. Sorry, Charles. 17.3 worth, guys. Horse is definitely 17.3. The only horse I remember standing next to him thinking it's even bigger than this one is Titan, who is uh, who's 18 three. But the guard is sitting at least, let me think, got to be eight foot, potentially even nine foot in the air from the uh, from the ground to the top of his plume. He's really high up. Look, see, teeny space between the top of the plume and the uh, the top of the box there. Yeah, table. I mean, Pretoria, like Q10, very, very memorable. This is a whole new level of wow. Isn't that just a spectacularly beautiful horse? Toys are enamored. Look, look how busy it is here. How many people are there? And I get it, people, I really do. You can hear from the excitement in my voice of having come across a horse that looks like this. Even its eyes look different to the other horses. Oh, even more police horses. Busy morning, eh? Look at this horse. Look at the eyes when it looks at us. Horsey, you are a beauty. Tabor. T-A-B-O-R magnificent this guys I'm gonna call it as being the best looking horse we've ever seen here where the hell have they been hiding this horse I think actually maybe this horse has, uh, has been in a cryogenic chamber maybe it was captured a long time ago from uh, from the Romans frozen by an early civilization that developed advanced technology and only defrosted this past weekend because that really is like something biblical The, the sheer delight on the people who are looking at the horse like, hold on a second, I've never seen a horse that looks like this. And neither have I. As I said, these two are only one number apart on the stable list. So this one and uh, the twin at the other end, Vise. Yeah, they've got to be siblings. I'm sure they're siblings. I'll, uh, I'll try and ask the corporal of course if he knows if they are siblings, if he's uh, out and about. Can't be a coincidence how similar they look. 
just a moment I'll go to the other end guys and show you you absolute beauty you yep that's right you the thing is this horse is so large that I don't think we're going to get many people going up close okay no one's uh, I'll be very surprised if anyone grabs the reins they're all coming through and noticing it's here and just like open mouths. Yeah, there's expressions on Tori's faces, folks, are really all you need to know. Oh, that guy almost walked into the horse. In fact, I wondered if they were super smart, HCAV should, uh, should start some merchandising. For example, they could have a range of mints, table mints. Okay. I mean, it sounds very close to tree ball mints, but you know what? If they had a little picture of a horse on the packaging, table mints, yeah, it would work. TM. It's even, that's my shadow, guys, being cast on the, on the ground. Look at that. You can feel the warmth from the sun on my back. What a nice feeling. Let me show you the other one. I'll walk right to the end so we can get a side shot. It's not going to look as good because it hasn't got the sunshine. The horse at this end is in the... Uh, not quite in the shade, but he hasn't got the sun. Let's put it that way. Uh, if I go to the side, we can... Uh... Actually, we can't. The sun's too bright. It's not going to work. Not at this end. I was going to go to the side, your side on perspective, but yeah, way too bright. But you can see how similar they are, these two. Just about fits in the frame from the, uh, from the hooves to the top of the plume. I must feel super proud, in fact, riding on a horse of this size. I'm proud just to look at it. Of course he's noticed the camera. Good morning. Uh, a little bit shy look. Huge and beautiful but shy. Hold on, if I stand in the middle, being careful, the guard's not about to do his rounds. Okay, so we've got Fies. This is from the middle of the front gate. Near the clock. Don't worry, we've got five minutes until the guard's going to move. And if I turn around to look at the other horse... It's almost like a mirror, folks, eh? There's so little difference between the two of them. But... The table behind me is the bigger of the two. Marginally. We're talking a couple of inches. Now, I, you know, I've been told my whole life that an inch or two extra doesn't matter. I don't know. I'll defer to you ladies whether that's true or not. Do we prefer a couple more inches uh, on our horse? Or is 17 hands enough? <laughs> so many people have noticing the camera at the last moment and ducking below it. Hold on. Hold on. Our uh, photographer's going to spoil it. Like he's saying to them, they can't get in. You spoil. I was just ready then. No, Thanks for that. I can't believe I'm you. Just, you be, you completely destroyed my video. I, I, was, I knew they were going to walk in. Yeah, I was just about to tell them. They've opened the shop inside. <laughs> they, were, they were ready. Colin spoiled it. Can't believe it. Gutted. Even the troop was like, damn it, I really wanted to shout at them. <laughs> I, I think you should walk in there now to make up for it. <laughs> hey, even if you did go in, I would cut it out, I promise. I, w I wouldn't put you in my video. <laughs> oh, goodness. Wait. Let's have a quick look on the other side um, at today's Chitsman. Oh, wow. The, the, uh, I think the horses had a very hearty dinner last night before they departed. Look. 
That's quite the mess, isn't it, to be honest? It's rare that they leave uh, this much in the yard. Okay, there's our chitsman. We can't really see too much, guys, because, unfortunately, the light started to move, so he's in the, in the shade now. Look, how unfortunate is that? The trooper before him in the lifeguards had the sunshine. That's now gone, so yeah, both of the troopers okay, in the I'll, yard, Gatesman and Chitsman, have no sunshine on them. And believe me, that sunshine makes a big difference on a chilly morning like today. But it is what it is. Two hours the Chitsman's going to be there in the arch. I would love to know how slowly that two hours goes by. It must be very hard. Two hours in this weather? That kit? because of the large size of the horses. I don't know if anyone's going to go close. Not optimistic this morning for uh, people going super close. Rain's definitely not. Which is not necessarily a negative. But that's the reality. Okay, here's the chief. So bright to my left. Okay, we caught that just in time, he's off. I'm trying to find a sweet spot, folks, where we can see everything that happens in front, but without the, uh, the issues with the light. Bing bong. Good morning. That's why uh, the trooper responded when he asked him a question. I don't know what he asked him. Not my business. Is it lovely? I could wander around all morning in this light, even if there were no horses here. <laughs> Hello to the camera. Curious. Dutchies, I think, from uh, from the accent. Very throaty accent. So yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think, realistically, folks, we're going to get people going anywhere near the range today. I just don't. The horses are too large and too intimidating. What I do think we will get, though, uh, are more people going near the archers. Why? Twice it already happened. We didn't see it clearly on the camera, but, as uh, the photographer told us earlier on, 
Yeah, it was. It all happened right behind me. Curiously enough, other toys have realised <laughs> that uh, there's a, a guard on this side. Look, one second, here they are. I'm not sure whether they could approach. You can go closer, guys. Don't worry. Don't worry about the camera. <laughs> A lot of people get worried about getting shouted at. Cute, actually, Germans. Okay, we're walking. We're walking against the tide at this moment. Briefly, and we're back. The table spotted us straight away. Look. Ah, that light. Damn it. I need to get a, a good UV filter, folks, for this uh, for this phone. Oh, <laughs> that was about to bite his hat off. I'm sure they're making a little vlog here. I think guy's Mexican. Yeah, she's really enamored by this horse, you know what? I agree with her. Actually, wait, they were running late there, weren't they? So these two horses have had uh, a very short shift. Let's see who we're going to have next, guys. Once uh, Tabor at this end and Vise at the other end are taken off. So this story has got lo lots of pictures somewhere. I really like uh, her enthusiasm. To be happy and smiling in this weather, not easy. Look. Seems fidgety. Okay, that's better. I wonder why this horse is a little fidgety this morning. A lot of you mentioned before that the most likely reason is a scent. If people wear certain perfumes or have a certain scent, that to the horse uh, is not conducive, you know, to making the horse feel good. It's going to react, isn't it? Guess we'll never know. Absolutely, that is. I'm trying to keep this as still as possible because if I keep the camera still, we can just about fit the entire horse from the hooves to the guard's plume in the frame.
good news is that today is the first day uh, of what is hopefully going to be a week of super bright weather. Forecast right now for the next four or five days. Even the horse is like, wait, what? It's going to be sunny tomorrow as well. Yeah, next four or five days, folks, right into next weekend. Sunny. Cold, but sunny, finally. Which is good because uh, the day before yesterday it was saying that on Wednesday it was going to snow in London. Zero chance of that happening now. I wonder why horsey is a little bit uh, fidgety. I'm way back, it's not me guys, I'm way back behind the bollards. Lots of people on the front here, but we're all way back. Not as comfortable, this horse is not as comfortable as the other one. The other one seems super chill. Oh, sorry. <laughs> It's almost like he just adjusts his glasses, but he cannot believe how big the horse is. Is a bit of a nipper, he just pushed somebody out of the way. One second, look. I wonder what the noise was, it was this guy going, like, ooh. Maybe he just doesn't like him. Or shoved him right out of the way. I'm not sure if it's um, alcohol or not. It might well be why the horse didn't like him. He was pushing or trying to nip at him. He couldn't reach, luckily, for that guy's sake, very luckily. But he was trying to, to nip and push him out of the way. I don't know, folks. I mean, maybe the smell of alcohol is not something that horses like. Not having ever been a horse, I can't really confirm. <laughs> Four minutes till they're changing them over. Horses just don't like the people getting close, do they? Correction, getting too close.
Can I just put the other one out of the box? Wait, let me show you how big this horse is. Out of the box. Not completely, but massively. Definitely uh, a gilding. I can tell you that, folks. I mean, we were pretty sure before, but now we're absolutely certain it's a gilding. The table's a bit ambiguous. I guess it could be a gilding or a mare, but this, this horse is certainly a mare. Uh, sorry, Duh. a gilding. They're back again. Gosh, he's always brought so many pictures today. Oh, he's look. He's looking exactly at her. Oh wow! So she got the right picture in the end. get behind the lines. We are one minute, folks, from the changeover. Okay, these ladies haven't quite heard that the officer is telling them to get behind the bollards. Gosh. How magnificent eh, is that horse, guys? Really see anything because of the sunlight. Oh, that's it. Wait, I've got lampposts blocking the sun. There we are. That's a good spot. Okay, two new ones. Very different looking. ID coming up in just a few minutes. Busy at the front. Gap's open up. How about that? Okay, here they come. Uh, goodbye to table. in the school group just uh, not next to me. <laughs> Here comes a new horse. Off he goes. Twin beauties. Hold on, and they've got another one that's also huge, but different. Two white socks. Let's quickly grab that hoof number, folks, so I can give you a name. I wonder if we're going to get four new ones today. Right, the number is... Oh no, would you believe it? There's no number on the hoof. It's a numberless hoof. Look. Second. There. No number. See this? Look. Okay, that's going to be one for the couple of horse if he's out and about. No number. Curious. That's the second one we've come across in the last week or so with no number. So we'll double check the other hoof. But the other one will probably. Uh, the other one has uh, RHGD, which is Royal Horse Guards and First Dragoons original name of the regiment. That's unfortunate, isn't it? It's seething unfortunate that there's no number. Just looking at the other side of the hoof. Got to be a new horse. There's no sign of a number having been there either. It's not even that it's obscured. There simply isn't one. Oh, actually, hold on a second, folks. There is, but it's very, very, very faint. Moreover, it's exceedingly close to the shoe. 
That's the smallest hoof number I've ever seen. It's tiny. Yeah, I don't, I don't think we're going to pick that one up. I've got an idea of what it might be. One second, let me look on the list to see if that number even exists. That's a, that's a very strange one. See if we get an ID for this one. Oh. I have a raccoon in the camera then. Yeah, I'll try and get to the front so we can ID the other horse at this end. Let's hope this one hasn't got a blank hoof as well. That hoof is, that number is... I need to really play around with that in Photoshop to see if I can enhance it because to the, to the uh, naked eye there's no chance of being able to read that. I'll ask a friend of mine in a minute, he's got better vision than me, but that's a very, it's the tiniest number just above the shoe. But there is a number there. I wonder why they get so low. Okay, let's concentrate on this horse in a second. See if we can get it. Oh, no. They're both new because this one, hold on. Nothing. There's no uh, no number. It's not even tiny or slight. There is nothing on that heel. Look, one second, I'll show you. Completely blank hoof. Look. Hopefully that's being picked up clearly. One second, folks. Ah! Hard with the light. Look, nothing. Interesting. So that is going to be one of two things. Brand new horses, because there's no way they would have been able to have uh, have a number and then, for example, file it off or something else. Police are keeping a, a very good eye on, uh, on this group. And so am I, everybody. Oh, yes. That's right. the cameras that will change their behavior hopefully <laughs> never quite understood this uh, sort of crowding phenomenon it's peculiar Police behind me though are uh, keeping a very close eye. We've seen what happened last time. There was a group trying to make the guard laugh, but in a kind of an aggressive or passive aggressive way. I'd rather not say anything, but let's see. There are four of us actually filming here right now in this corner. Notice how quick the crowding stopped uh, when I walked in, as indeed it should. Take a picture, smile, leave. Not complicated, is it? Okay. Place a word on if necessary. Back at the front. 
There's a gent coming along with a yellow beret. Look at this, a mustard colour beret. He must be an artiste, no? Very stylish. I did wonder actually when I looked around, I thought, where's everyone else gone? I wonder if they all left. The other people that were here recording and streaming and stuff. But nope, they're in the yard. I'm not going to say anything, folks, because the police are right behind me. So if, for example, it gets a little bit out of hand, uh, they'll throw this group out. Like laughing and pointing. Yeah, I'm not liking this at all. I think he's a police officer asking the guard if he wants to. What's this group thrown out? That's it, you tell them, officer. Photos only, don't mess around with the guard. Clowns. Chuck them out. Let me try and explain one second. No, I heard. Wait, let me try. Let me try. Hey, can I ask you something, guys? Do you speak English? Yes, I do. Do you know? Do you know why the police spoke to you and said like, only talk, uh, don't talk to the guard, only take pictures? Yes. These, this regiment, these guards, they're an armoured regiment. In 1945, this armoured regiment liberated Belsen in Germany. This is why you need to be respectful, my friend. Extraordinary. Really extraordinary. They've got no clue, absolutely no clue about their own history. Corporal of horses out. Really, just that really annoyed me. They should have been chucked out. Extraordinary. What a surprise there, guys. It was such a nice morning until then. Notice he didn't want to face up to the reality of what I was trying to explain to him. His excuse was, I've got to run. Yeah, run away, I think is what he meant. Corporal of course is making clear the rules now. I'll uh, focus on the horse numbers in a second. Good morning, Chief. I noticed these, these two haven't got hoof numbers. Well, that, that one's so... It's the tiniest one I don't think I've ever seen. That one's definitely blank. Does that mean that they're new? No? Why would they have no numbers at all? Somebody fouled them off. Can you tell me which, which two these are or you can't? No? Oh, am I, am I in the doghouse? Sorry? No? It's funny because the list, the whole blues list is complete, but the ones obviously that come up without any hoof numbers. Could put... I did explain to these, or try to explain to these guys that this is an armoured regiment that liberated Belson in 45. They don't, they don't want to hear it. Super rude to the guards now. Unbelievable. Yeah, Corporal Force is more focused on what's going on with this group, folks, making sure that they behave themselves. He did say to them, pictures only, do not try and speak to the guard. Corporal Force actually genuinely seems surprised as well that there aren't any news numbers. I wonder why, the week after we finish the list, get horses appear with no numbers. I've got a way around it though, folks. Uh, I won't divulge what it is, but I've got a way. I will definitely find out which horse this is we're looking at right now. Mm -hmm. 
very unusual looking face actually this one let me take a picture as well just so that I've got it as a reference because those two white socks are going to be the giveaway got a super clear picture of the horse should be identifiable actually purely from the socks I would have thought oh Chinooks above us in the sky there we are back to happy optimistic smiley tourists I'm getting a lot of dirty looks from that group, but you know what? Bring it on, boys. Please told them, because of course told them, I told them, in one ear out the other it seems. <laughs> You guys jump in there, I got it. I think Blaine will too. A lot of people waiting there behind us. I think it will return to normal shortly. It's a winning smile for a Monday morning. Have you got super zoom on that? Have you really zoomed in far? Uh, yeah, with a different lens. This one's only 55 millimeters. Ah, okay. I was going to see if you get get the number from the front hoof, but I don't think the camera's powerful enough. On the on the, on the horse's the left hoof, there'll be a number, but I can't pick it up with the phone. RH60, it looks like. On the on the um, horse's right hoof, that's yeah, RHGD. That's the original, but on, on this hoof, this side, there should be a number. Anybody else? Second, let's see. Like 60, <laughs> is it? 60, yeah. yeah? 60, Lovely. Okay. Them, yeah. Thank you. Did it, is it like that's, the, that's the identification number. So, for example, seeing the number, this is a list of all the names. Oh, ah, there we go. So you've just identified the horse. Hey, top man. <laughs> Thank you. Guys, this is uh, Tipper. This horse is Tipper. I think Lim grabbed A lot of people are still waiting, but this group's taking so long to get all the pictures that everyone else is having to wait. Wow, top man there, actually. Just grabbed the... Uh, grabbed the name. Yes, yeah, so it's the smallest number ever. I think they might now start engraving it with the, the smallest bit so we can barely read the. Sorry, I'm talking to my. <laughs> uh, I think they're going to start engraving it with the smallest, very smallest bit so we can barely read those numbers. Luckily, the chap had good eyesight. He got right in close, snapped it with his camera, and bingo, we got it. Cool guy, there he is. What a nice guy. We haven't seen, never seen them kick yet, but they bite a lot. A few people have been thrown on the floor by the horses. Yeah. Yeah. So be careful. And they always like bright coloured scarves, by the way. I'm not. I'm not actually not kidding. Seriously. Yeah. 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 Be careful. Yeah. Yep. Yeah.
Luckily, which means now the other tourists get to take pictures with the horse. Yeah, it was, it was, uh, it was a nice thing to see, but it happens. It was such an optimistic morning until that. But hey, the lucky thing to turn out after that, honestly. You want one on the camera? Yeah, I'll teach you. Not fucking horses. Not horses. So we've only got one missing name at the moment. Uh, I've got an idea of how to get it, but it'll need to be off camera, so uh, <laughs> we're 75% there. Oh, Anyone know which language that is? Oh, <laughs> just destroyed our code. <laughs> Oops. Actually, wait, Ruku is, a, is the Russian word for hand, but that isn't Russian. Which language is that? On the rain, naughty, naughty. No, uh -oh, it all goes wrong, guys. One minute it's all fine, and then it's not. Good man. <laughs> I think it might be something like um, Bosnian, Serbian. Little words I can pick up. Russian words. Yeah, of course. <laughs> I think one is asking my permission. It's like, of course you can. <laughs> oh, that tip is a big softie, guys. school group just turned up on my left they're all freezing shivering it's okay <laughs> trying to avoid people walking in front of the camera but it's not uh, not easy to achieve this is the girl that didn't realize there was a sign there before she was just saying to her friend I didn't even see the sign let's go watch some super pictures this morning I'm just sort of waiting to see which groups are going to come along, along next. Multiple groups here. 
And they were all sort of waiting to see if another group would go over first. And in the event, no one came over. Hence that little brief, uh, brief minute of no one being there. That's <laughs> weird. English school group, they're nervous. Pretty surprising given the size of the walls. <laughs> First time in a long time I remember the Corporal of Force actually coming out and having a word with the group. I think he'd probably noticed uh, in the guard room that the police not only had been watching, but more importantly, had then gone over and explicitly said to them, you can get your pictures, but no provoking the guard. I think that's what they that, that, that's what the officer said. I couldn't I will re-listen to it. I'm not sure it picked up the audio. Wow, look at these beauties. This one could be a H cab horse, look. <laughs> One second, the guy that just finished this in just saluted and then walked off. Right, so this is the one that I'm convinced has absolutely no number. However, I'm going to have to double check it by getting even closer and really having a look because the couple of horse was surprised when I said there were no numbers on the hooves. But we did find out the other number because it's a teeny tiny number, the smallest one I've ever seen. But luckily, that very kind chap with the camera. Uh, got up close and gave me the number. This end, let's have a look. Let's see. Right, I've got a crystal clear shot of the hoof this time. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Right, now I've got a shot of the hoof in the light. There is a number, but my goodness me, it's very, very, very faint. Hold on. So I thought it was an argument behind us, not school group was stuck, split across the road. Oh look, a horse is sticking his tongue out, he's like, Bleh. look. Ah. It's super unusual though to have the tongue. Is it is it stuck or what's he doing? What's horse he doing? Is that putting a raspberry at these tourists? Uh. Okay, so right. Okay, so the solution when it looks like there's no hoof print is to get up crazy close and wait for the light. Now let me just look at the number and we might have got a full house. Yes, we've got a full house, ladies and gents. This beauty, this horse, I'm delighted to announce, uh, is Valerium. So we've got a full house this morning of new horses that I, I've never seen before. Yeah, this beauty is Valerium. I remember him as, uh, as the one that likes to stick his tongue out. Him, hold on. Could be a mare. Hard to see, 100%. I said Valerian is not. You would expect Valerian to be a gelding, no? Also, the very distinctive mark on uh, on his neck. See on the left side there. What's his left? Wow, Valerian. 
So we got a full house this morning after all. See, persistence pays off. Very, very faint numbers. And it's interesting actually, now that I did get the number, it's because the numbers, yes, they're very small, but they're also a very unusual pair of numbers these two horses have, which is why when you zoom in, it doesn't even look like a number. But, yep, confirm with the list. So Tipper at the other end and Valerium. And we had Vise and Tabor that were here before that. Uh, I'll drop the names as usual, folks, in the comments. Oh. Interesting. Biker just emerged from the gate. Got to be a trooper or an officer, surely. Do I like that casually? Okay, what time is it? I'm struggling to see on the clock, actually. So let's have a look on the other phone. 12.29. We've got all four horses this morning. I'm quite delighted by that. Uh, this video, folks, um, even though it is part two, it's going to be the same situation as yesterday, whereby we had a part one uh, that terminated early, hence going with part two first. So you're going to see this one, everyone, um, and it will clearly state part two in the description. Um, and part one will be posted after this. And to be honest, looking at yesterday's stats, I posted the longer part two first, and I posted the part one overnight, so I noticed it was mainly an, uh, an Aussie Kiwi audience that were looking at part two. I think I posted it around 1 a.m. this morning, give or take. One second. So she's talking to me. Nope. Interesting sort of uh, leopard print. Is that a leopard? A jaguar? A cheetah? Leopard, I think. Yeah, this, this, this longer of the two videos, guys, will be up first. A um, little bit controversial, I know, but hey, uh, I can't control what happens here. Uh, we all saw that group get uh, get told very firmly by the officer that, you know what? Enough. Magnificent light, though, this morning. Look at it. Honestly, look, all the windows picking it up as well. You see, all the way through the tunnel the sunshine. Oh, Trooper's walking his dog, look. <laughs> Brilliant. <laughs> okay, who's up next? <laughs> this one, Tipper, this end is much more curious than the other horse. Again, a very young face. All four of the horses, they have very young faces. I just remember, in fact, looking at the time on the call, this video would have picked up all four of the horses, which is very lucky because normally I do an hour with the first two and an hour with the second two. So perhaps that call that came through and terminated the first video was, uh, was fortuitous. Back to normal. Peace has re-descended upon horse cars. Everyone now being happy, respectful, uh, and not in that very misguided way. Um, some people, I've seen a lot of English people here make the same mistake, that very misguided notion of, hey, it's some kind of a comedy club, we need to get uh, a response, ideally laughter from the guard. I don't understand the mentality. It's not confined to one group. I've seen a lot of British people do it, but for some reason, that very large group just did not want to listen. Uh, I'm hoping that the microphone picked up very clearly in my attempt to explain why being disrespectful here made them look doubly stupid. You know, uh, and for those that didn't hear that earlier on uh, when I was narrating, I mentioned to, or I tried to discuss with the, the chap, I did ask him if he spoke English, he said yes. I said to him, look, this is an armoured regiment. Okay? Yes, they were so regimental. This is an armoured regiment 
Uh, and back in 1945, it was a British armoured regiment that stumbled across uh, liberated Belson. So I just I can't understand it. You know, it's it's so incredibly odd. You know, there's one group in the world that owes a lot to these troopers. It's that group. So the disrespect is almost amplified. You know, in, in the various multitudes because of that one single historical fact, which if I'm aware of, you know, you think others would be aware of, but apparently not. On that note, folks, uh, it was a good morning. Otherwise, uh, a few laughs, a few lovely people, a few very friendly people, and I think that uh, the chap that took the the photo and his friends, they got the great pictures. I'm pretty sure they were Canadian group, but they were lovely, and they got some great, great, great pictures. So it worked out well in the end. Uh, I will be back soon, ladies and gents. Um, but from a very, very chilly horse guards, uh, very, very chilly horse guards, uh, I'm out of here. Back soon, folks. Bye for now.